The following strategies cover this standard very well. This video will be part one of three. The next two videos show partial quotients, while this video will be the foundation of where that strategy even comes from. We'll use base 10 blocks for this example in order to illustrate and explain the calculation using rectangular arrays. The reverse of this strategy is used for multiplying decimals and whole numbers, which shows the relationship between multiplication and division. So check that video out to gain a deeper understanding of how this method fully works. So here we go. 156 divided by 12. The first thing I point out to the students is the shape of the division symbol. What shape does it look like? Quickly the students respond that it looks like an unfinished rectangle. Exactly. So the students pull out the amount of the dividend using the fewest number of blocks. A 100 square, 5 tens, and 6 unit blocks. Their goal is to build a rectangle. The 12 shows the height of the rectangle. The unknown side is the width. Let's start building. Using the largest blocks first, create a rectangle that is 12 blocks tall. Use the remaining pieces to complete the rectangle. Make sure not to change the height. It must stay 12 the entire way. Once you have the height, only build left to right. When the rectangle is complete, observe its width. The rectangle is 13 blocks wide. Notice where the answer is found, at the top, along the top line, in the same place we would write the quotient. Or so the answer to 156 divided by 12 is 13. In the same way, 12 times 13 equals 156. Next example, 308 divided by 22. Here's another unfinished rectangle. Let's pull out the amount of the dividend using the fewest number of blocks. 300 squares and 8 unit blocks. This time 22 shows the height of the rectangle. The unknown side is the width. Let's start building. Using the largest blocks first, create a rectangle that is 22 blocks tall. Since we're unable to make it 22 tall, we will have to make an equal exchange of 100 square for 10 tenths. Use the remaining pieces to complete the rectangle. Make sure not to change the height. Only build left to right. When the rectangle is complete, observe its width. The rectangle is 14 blocks wide. Again, notice where the answer is found. At the top, along the top line, in the same place we would write the quotient or answer to a division problem. So the answer to 308 divided by 22 is 14. To double check, multiply 22 and 14 and you'll get 308. This strategy should explain why the remainder cannot be larger than the height or the divisor. It should show the relationship between division and repeated subtraction. It should show a relationship between the divisor, dividend, and quotient. It should show the relationship between multiplication and division, like how the dividend is the end product, and how the height times the width gets the dividend. It will show how partial quotients work, which we'll get into in the next two videos of this series. And as always, when struggling with math, don't say I can't. Instead say, I can't yet and that's why I'm going to keep pushing play. So keep pushing play and I'll see you next time.